guys, it's Sam, and I've switched up my filming location for the personal videos again. <laughs> you guys won't really be able to tell, but I'm in a very small section of my living room where there's a blank wall, and I'm trying to fix like the sound issue right now because of the mic and the other, my bedroom was like super echoey because I don't have anything on the walls really in there, and I don't have anything on the walls really in here, but my bookshelves are right here, and there's a lot of furniture to like dampen that echoey-ness. So I'm experimenting with this and we'll see how it goes. But let me know what you like better. This is also easier for me because I can just move my lights down a bit instead of having to like move them into a whole separate room and do the whole setup there. It's just easier. So let me know your thoughts. This is a continued work in progress. But for today's video, I am doing a very much requested nail Q&A video. So people have been asking about my nails. People frequently ask about my nails. And when I ask for topics for Vlogmas people would like to see, a lot of people asked for a nail Q&A type video. And a lot of these questions are questions that overlap. A lot of these questions are questions I get on a daily basis from people out in public. So this is a video on my nails. Here are my current nails, by the way. I just got these today. They're obviously Christmas. So I've only had fake nails for about a little over a year. I got them for the first BookNet Fest just as a treat to myself and then kept them and then they kept getting longer and then I kept doing more elaborate designs and they've really become a part of my identity but I have not been a nail person like I never got regular manicures so this is a new thing. I know some people are like how do you, you know you've lived with your nails for so long and I'm like I haven't. I've had them for about a year and a half out of my life but they've obviously come to define a piece of my identity. So like I said, I asked on Twitter and Instagram for questions you guys had, and there's a lot of overlaps. I'm not gonna say who asked what question because a lot of these questions are very similar, so I'm gonna answer the general themes of some of these questions. So the first question is, how long are my natural nails and are they damaged at all by these nails? So right now, you can kind of see underneath, that is my natural nail. So my natural nail will grow with my fake nail underneath, you know, like your nails still grow. So the nail, the fake nail is attached to your natural nail and then that will obviously like grow out and stuff. So every once in a while my nail tech will go in with like the little tool, it's almost like a Dremel but not that scary, and will kind of file down underneath because if this continues to grow it can like start separating from the fake nail and stuff like that. So my nails do still grow under this. Are my nails damaged from this? Probably, but I keep them covered all the time. Like I have only ever gotten one completely new set of nails because my nails last so long on me. Sometimes people have to get totally new sets of nails more frequently than that. Usually it's like every three to six months, but for me my nails just happened to last a really long time so we didn't have to do that. There was no like separation or anything that would cause you to need to get a new set of nails. So yes probably, but also my natural nails have never been very good. <laughs> They have never been very strong. I used to bite them. They also just naturally flake and fray. They naturally are very brittle. They break, like if I try to get them longer, there's always one breaking, so I always had like uneven nails. Like I never had very nice nails, so the fact that it's like, oh, your natural nails might be damaged by this, to me, it doesn't matter because I don't take these off. And when I would take these off, like if I ever have to get rid of these nails, which may happen in the future, may happen in the near future, then I will start to probably put like gel polish on them or something to like restore them, but I'm not super worried about it because it's not like I started with beautiful natural nails. I got these because I didn't have good nails. <laughs> what are your favorite and least favorite polishes to wear? Now, I don't really pick out like the polishes by name or anything like that, but I'll just say that as far as like my favorites, I really like chrome nails. So that's actually a powder that you put on top of a polish and they like buff it in and it creates that like chrome look. So that chrome kind of polish is my favorite. I also really like matte polish. So that's also just a top coat, so you can make any polish a matte by the top coat that you put on it, and then you take, you like buff that, and it turns matte. So matte and chrome are my two favorites. Or any kind of like fun effect to the nail polish, like not even a design, just like a fun effect, you know, unicorn. I did like almost like a dragon kind of look, which I want to do again, but I just haven't been able to because it's been holidays and I haven't done like holiday themed nails. But that kind of look, like cat eye, those kinds of polishes and effects to polish is what I like most. And I tend to like darker colors. You guys know that. Someone asked how much direction do you give your nail artist? Like a very detailed idea, just a vague idea to start with. So mostly I show him a picture. I have a whole Pinterest nail art board that has a ton of categories and I will go through and pick a design that I really want and show him and then he will do something similar but put his own twist on it or I'll say like hey I want this in a different color and he always says like I 
feel very proud of this. He's like, you are, you have the most creative designs that you bring in. You find the most creative stuff. He always takes photos of my nails and posts it on the Instagram for the nail place, which I will actually link down below if you guys are interested in kind of like close to my area. Uh, not that a lot of people are, but just in case. So he always posts my nails on Instagram and he's just like, you come with really creative stuff. So I bring stuff, I bring an idea, but then he puts his own twist on it and also adapts them to my nails. So maybe I'll bring in a picture and the girl has like shorter nails or she has more square nails or more coffin nails so he'll adapt it to the size and the shape of my nails as well so that's fun someone said i know that you said you've gotten used to your nails and you can do everything with them but what was it like when you first got them i wanted to take you to figure out how to do things with them i adapted in about a week like at first yes it was very like it was weird because they're an extension of your hand and these are acrylic nails i think someone asked that in another question so i'll get to that but these these are fake they're they're hard you know so like it's not like if you had a natural nail this long that would bend or that you'd be able to feel like I can't feel like I will flip you guys saw in my what I eat today like I will flip my tofu with my fake nails because it's it's like a tool you know what I mean so I got used to it fairly quickly the one thing I had to learn was how to take my contacts out which I do do with these nails but I watched a YouTube video from Patrick Starr who has fake nails taking out his contacts so it's not hard now and now I don't even know what to do without them because like if I break a nail I'm like how do I take out contacts normally anymore like I just have adapted to it so now everything I do I do differently similar question someone asked how I lift with long nails because as you guys know I weigh lift and because she says that she always is like poking her palm and I do too but again I think my grip is just like changed a bit like I, I never leave like with indentations I think because of the barbell is still like I don't know like the barbell is still big enough that I'm not really having much of a problem like maybe things would be slightly improved but again I've just gotten so used to it that it's a non-issue I think because like maybe I kind of grip a little more flat like this so they lay like this I can't even tell without going to the gym and like doing it um, what exactly I do but I adapted to that as well someone asked if I have any favorite designs that I've had so far and I really adore most of the designs that I've had but some of my favorites the Halloween nails that I have every year are just wonderful and beautiful and I just I love them so much I really liked last year's Christmas nails or they were kind of like a pre-Christmas because they were like they were like blue but like dark blue matte and sparkly and stuff I also really like any of the time that I've done like chrome nails and black like chrome and black it's simple but I really love it and the like dragon egg kind of nail that I said that I did before was really fun too so sometimes it's just like a nail effect that's my favorite and sometimes it's a design so a few people asked how I type which again is just an adaptation but like I I type with the tips of my nail so I make like a and I still type really fast I'm a very fast typist so I still type over 100 words per minute with my nails again they don't break or anything because they're hard for texting and stuff I have to use kind of like the sides of my fingers it doesn't really bother me it's a little more cumbersome I text slightly less quickly than I would but it doesn't really bother me and a few people ask this question which I'm like I think it's so funny a few people ask me how I, I use the restroom which I would never think of like that is not something I had to adapt to so I'm not gonna show you obviously but I'm gonna go get toilet paper to show you like that it, that it's fine <laughs> and this is probably more information and insight than you guys ever wanted in this video but a number of you asked so maybe it's not but here's some TP I got way more than probably is even like required but I just wanted to show you I'm a baller upper so maybe that's why I don't have a problem I'm not a folder I know some people are folders I'm a baller. It's fine. Do you guys use your nails and your fingertips to do your business? I never did. So I don't... Everything's fine. It's taken me, what, four, almost five years to get that personal on my YouTube. You're welcome. Someone asked a similar kind of question as far as like doing tasks, but do they ever get in the way being so long? Or, and people asked if there were any things that were like really difficult. So they don't really get in the way. Sometimes like the few times that I've broken them have been like opening a door handle to a car and like the car door, like I won't get a good enough grip on my actual fingers for some reason because I'm just like not paying attention. And then that'll like snap a nail. The only thing that is really irritating is card readers for gas stations or ATMs. So not like the car reader that you put your card in or swiping your card at the store. Like I never have a problem paying. It's when I have to like stick the card in and pull it back out quickly. It will sometimes like, I sometimes won't be able to do it quick enough because I can't grip it just because of like the distance and having to put it in. So I will typically, I have gloves in the car, like leather gloves that I have for winter and stuff. 
And during any time of year, if I need to do that at the gas station or an ATM, I will put my glove on so it's a little more like sticky and I will take the card out that way. So it's a little simple trick and it's one of those little like annoying things that you would never even think about, but that's the only thing that's really annoying. Everything else I don't have an issue with. Like I, you're not supposed to open stuff like pop cans or like you're not really supposed to use your natural nails as tools either. So like that's what damages your natural nails. So there's nothing else. I guess maybe like if I had to pick up like a paper clip off a tile floor, you know, like little stupid things, but like I'll make that sacrifice for beauty, you know? Someone asked how long my appointment takes to get them done. It depends. So I go, and some people ask like how, how often you get like a fill. So a fill is when they like fill in the space that's grown out and like change the color and, and change the design or whatever. So I go every three weeks, sometimes every two, but I feel like every two is not quite long enough and every three is sometimes almost a little bit too long, but every three is like Perfect. If I go over three, then it just starts to like really grow out and you can see like the growth and it's just like looking a little little all over the place. And because I tend to get like designs and stuff, it's a little more expensive. So I don't want to go every two weeks and get it every three weeks is a little more perfect for me. And since I do designs, I want them to be on there for a long time so I can enjoy them for a long time. But when I go, if I'm getting just a fill, which is taking off this, you know, filling in and then putting a new design on, it's usually anywhere, depending on the complexity of the design, from like an hour and a half to like two and a half hours. I think maybe at one point, maybe it would have taken three if like he's doing an elaborate design on each finger, which I don't tend to do because that gets expensive and who wants to sit at the nail salon for three hours? Not it. Although my nail salon plays movies and they usually play like older movies, typically like late 90s, early 2000s movies. So like the first time I ever went in there, I think Drumline was on, the Princess Diaries, Clueless, Mean Girls, Today they had Jingle All The Way for Christmas. Like it's just, it's fun. So that's a little more entertaining, but they can be longer if there's like a really elaborate design. Someone asked if I always go to the same person. Yes, I specifically chose this guy because I found his stuff on Instagram. One of the only people in this state that do designs and do like the fun long nails, these, the shape, a lot of people, if I asked for the shape, they'd be like, I can't, I won't do that on you. Like some people are really against this kind of shape. I don't know why. So yeah, I always go to the same guy. And this is acrylic, so this is acrylic powder, and there's gel nail polish on top. Someone asked if I like square nails on me or on other people. I don't have a preference for anything on other people, but I have always done this because I like, I feel like it elongates my fingers. So I've never gotten like a long square nail. I just don't think it looks good with my like nail bed. The style of nails that look good on you depends on your nail bed, how big it is, and how it's shaped down here. So even when I had natural nails, I more shaped it to match the bottom right here, like this crescent. So I've always had more of like a oval, squoval type nail, even when I had natural nails. I don't think anyone asked this specifically, but the reason that I've gotten these kind of nails, which is like a more, like a long almond, I don't want to ever do anything that has like an actual pointy tip. These are rounded off, so they're not as dangerous as you may think they are. But the reason this speaks to me specifically is I really like the idea of weaponized femininity. You might know that about me from my general aesthetic, but these symbolize like that to me. Like they're beautiful and very feminine, but also like I will hurt you. And they send a, a direct message of like beauty, but also fierceness. And that's just an aesthetic that I really appreciate and enjoy. Someone asked if there's any extra steps that I do between appointments or things to make them last. No, mine just lasts really well. And even my nail tech is like, what do you do for work? Because your nails are like barely ever broken. They don't really chip really. And I'm like, I do a lot of stuff with my hands. I lift weights. I'm, I'm not like, being really careful and I just never have any problems. So I don't really do anything. I would like to be a person that uses like cuticle oil on a regular basis. My mom has gets her nails done as well. Not like this, not this long, but she gets like designs and stuff as well. Probably where I got it from now that I'm thinking about it. But she uses like cuticle oil and stuff and I never have. In the winter now, I've started to use the Neutrogena Norwegian hand cream. It's like a thicker cream that I use at night. It's my favorite hand cream because it doesn't really leave like any stickiness after it soaks in and it's, there's no scent to it. So I do that at night, but it's not something that I really do to maintain my nails. It's more to maintain my hands as they get dry in the winter. And sometimes I even forget to do that. I do want to be better about like hand lotion and possibly cuticle oil, like I said, but it's just, I've tried in the past and I just, I never do it. I never do it because I don't like the greasy feeling. If you guys have any recommendations for hand cream that is good for during the day, because I have my hand cream for night, but I want one during the day that I can just like pop on and doesn't have a strong scent to it because I tend to feel like that irritates my skin and also I don't like it mixing with my like perfume, let me know. 
I'd really be curious about that. Someone asked why I decided on this length and really they just started getting longer. Like when I first got them, they weren't this super long and then they just kind of got longer and this is what I've adapted to and what I like a lot. I understand that they're a little out there and I never would have thought, just like me having short hair, I never would have thought that I would have short hair. I never would have thought that I would have long dagger nails, but here we are and this is, this is me. I can't imagine myself with shorter nails, actually. The last time that he took them off to get a total change out, I was like, I have small stubby fingers. And he's like, you don't. You're just so used to having long nails. And the last question someone asked is, where do I go? And I go to Timmy at Nail Care Systems. Again, I'll link their Instagram down below if you're in the Delaware, PA border area, which is kind of where I live. So if you want to check him out, but he's very busy and usually very booked and it's hard to kind of get in there. So just letting you know, but they are very in demand for this area because like I said, there's no salons really besides them that do the crazy designs and all that. They're a fun time. So that is it for my nail q and I hope that answered all of your pressing questions. This is going to be fun to have because now whenever someone asks me a question about my nails, I can just link them to this video, which is going to save me some time. <laughs> so comment down below. Let me know if there's anything that I missed that you have a pressing question about and also let me know about the hand cream or if you have any tips for like hand maintenance that you think I should stick to. Although at this point, like my nails last anyway, so I don't know. But yeah, if you have any, any things about nails you want to tell me, let me know. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.